Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. This video is a continuation of our previous one on full backup of Cobian Reflector, a free data backup software. Today we will dive into why incremental backups are important and show you how to set them up using the Cobian Reflector. We will also discuss what is an incremental backup in simple way. If you are already running the incremental backups, you notice the multiple folders like here on your pictures. Don't worry, we will demonstrate an option at the end of the video that allow you to consolidate all your incremental backup into a single folder. So before we jump into the video, let's understand the concept of the incremental backup in easy way. So what is a backup? So let's say example that you have one folder and that you are going to take the back, going to take the back folder and inside that you have a file one and three and you are going to run the incremental back. So let's say this is uh, Sunday and Sunday you are going to run the incremental back. So remember one concept is like whenever you are going to run the incremental backup the first backup will be automatically it will take the full backup you don't have to do that that's a feature of the incremental backup first backup will be always be the full back now let's say the another day it's a Sunday it's a now today is Monday so on the Monday you are going to take the incremental backup so let's say you had a folder you had a file one four and then in this uh, Monday, you have created one more file which is called file number 4 in this folder. It will compare this previous version of your backup and then it will then it will take the backup of, of a single file. But it will keep the reference of the full backup. Now, what about the Tuesday? Is your Tuesday? So Tuesday, um, so it knows it, this Tuesday, the software knows as any backup software knows that you have a full backup one, two, three, and then you had a four. So when you have created a, let's say you have created a one more file number five in, on Tuesday. So it will take the only backup of file five, but it will keep the reference of the full backup itself. It's no, it will compare. It will compare like what was your previous backup on Monday. So you know that it was, it was till the four. But what is changed on Tuesday? It is like number five. So you have created one more file in the folder called number five. So it will take the backup of the five. So let's say what is going to happen on the Wednesday. Wednesday you have not created any folder. Yes, Wednesday you have not created any folder. So what is, does it? It will take a blank backup. There will be, I mean, there will be no file in, in fact inside that. So there will be no file backup on the Wednesday. It Because if when you say compare this uh, backup, you say that, oh, you have not created any file on that one. So it will take the reference. It will, it will restore the data, but it will keep the reference of the Tuesday data. Let's say on the Thursday, you have created a file called six in this folder. One, two, this is your source folder, right? This is how we are work. This is your source for source folder. So when you created a file on six, so on the Thursday, when we'll take the backup, it will take the only backup on the six comparing with the five, because it knows that you have a one, two, three, four, and five. And then on the uh, Thursday, is a register of six. So this is how it goes and take the back. So now time to understand how to take the backup on incremental backup on the software. Let's open the software, my soft Cobian reflector. As you can see the previous day we have created an uh, folder itself. Let's go ahead and create a incremental task. For that, you have to click here on the plus button and then you have to click new task and we can type INC. I have incremental backup and this all will be as it is and you can select here as in incremental so you can see incremental backup is already selected here but when you uh, incremental backup is already selected here now let's go to the file inside the file we have to select the source drive source file so click on the add directory and the source of that directory would be on my desktop important file you can select like uh, whatever files or whatever folders you want and you can have add the multiple click on the add directory and let's say i i want to uh, back up this photos direct on the folder so let's click on the directory and when you go documents let's say in the document i don't want backup of this photo so you can this is a second directory so you can have the list the multiple directories here now it's talking about the source destination drive so in the destination drive e drive is already selected and e drive is my external hard drive and you can go to the schedules and can schedule here you can select the daily backup weekly backup depends on your requirements when you go the weekly what what date you want to take the back when you go with the monthly on which date you want to give uh, take the backup of the week or days this is how you go ahead and select this option from dynamics nothing to do here um, archive compression we'll talk in the, the next video filter so filter is like um, uh, this is the either an or combination let's say if you want include the file so you have a, a folder inside you have a multiple folders there and you want to take you are only concerned about the, your word excel powerpoint pdf kind of files here so just go ahead and uh, select the file. Okay, let's say um, I'm only concerned about the Word and Excel. Excel. So just select the Word and Excel. So this will only take the uh, Bax file inside the direct. Or the other condition could be like uh, you want to exclude this file. 
let's say inside the folder have uh, this is the source folder inside that you have a exe file iso file or some other file which is uh, like very um, big in the size for example iso iso if you have a windows iso uh, that take like four four five gb or six gb of space so you obviously you don't want to take the backup of that particular iso you can go ahead and exclude those files from from here and then uh, you have a event so what event you want to run so let's say you want to before backup you want to exit command or pause some application or you can stop some services so you can go ahead and do this experiment from and then about the post event so after the backup what do you want so let's say um, i go to office at uh, somewhere at eight o'clock or eight thirty. so what i do is i'll just create this uh, backup and then in this post event i create the shutdown that once the backup is done this will this software will automatically shut down the system or you can uh, hibernate or reboot depends on like what task you want to do that so let's see since um, we have already given this task name and then the files which are going to take the backup i obviously said this put in the e drive and then let daily back in the daily backup it should be the 2030 okay so now you can say that um, this has is fully saved and you can see this is the new task so um it this will automatically run at the every uh day 8 30 but just to simulate this is what we will do is just select with the run select click on the ok here and now it will take this is you can see the right hand side this is our external drive backup our all this file from from desktop the external drive you can see here this is showing this how much mb 30.2 mb it's showing 32.2 mb size and let's say what is the size on the original 32.2 mb file so this is the first backup it has taken so now I mean, assume that this is the Sunday this is the first backup taken and first backup is your full back right now let's say what will happen on the Monday let's say today is Monday and the Monday what it did is uh, we created one file here. let's say one rich document inside the source direct right we have created one file here and once we click on the right click well as I said as I told you right Whenever you are going to simulate this task, just click on the task and click on the run selected task. Click on the OK and it will create additional directory here and it will only copy the file which is made, which is changed. So what is the change? The new rich document. This has changed. There's no other folds here. What is the file size of, what is the size of this folder? Just a seven. Just means it will only copy the file or it will only backup the file which has been change don't you think it's best option to uh, save our disk right rather than having so imagine that you are taking the full backup every day so after a few days your disk will be full but when you have an incremental backup it will only take the backup which are changed so an example this is about the example of like in this is the uh, monday so let's say on the tuesday you have not um backed up you have not changed anything right what will happen there will be a situation that you have not created any files in in say in the source folder so what will happen on the Tuesday. So let's see. This happen going right click and uh, sorry. Let's click right click on this task and run selected task. Okay. So what? Tell, tell me in the put me in the comment. What is going to happen? I told you in the uh, in the beginning of the video itself. Whether it's going to take the backup of your new files or it will be nothing. It will just keep the reference, right? As, as I just said that it will compare compare the previous version and the new version of the, your backup. Let's go back here and you can see it is just this software will just keep the reference. So you can see here on the Monday we have not any make any file. It was just a um, new rich file which we have created. But the next day there was no update. So the nothing file, right? How you can save your file and this is how the English incremental backup runs here now the second question is like let's say whenever we whenever we run this task let's say let's say we run one more okay so what will happen on wednesday let's say on the tuesday wednesday we have created a uh, one more file in the source folder this bitmap image now when we going to run the task run selected task now tell me in the down put me in the comment that what is going to happen will it will create will it will create a new file or it will create the old file in the new folder so it's the backup is created here let's say what is in the backup folder you can see here only the image file which we have created on the so it, that's why it said it will compare the previous backup and then based on that it will take the backup next back right this concept is clear now the question is uh, um, some people uh, do not want this for days wise. They don't want to create this folder date wise. Like let's say um, you can see the, and the same date. Is, it's showing same date because we are running the task manually. But uh, if you are running the task automatically on the scheduled day, it will show you the different date. So let's say um, I want every, everything to be in the single folder, not on the older folder. So what you have to do is you have to click on the right click it, um, edit task and you have to uncheck this option. Create a new separate backup create separated back uncheck that option and click on the ok so what it does it it will create a only single folder it will not create a folder date wise like this so let's take the backup here run selected task and see how so see this is created one folder like the important file but it's not showing date time because we have asked this of run on single right so it's now is 2022 
uh, 2245 let's wait for under one minute and then we we'll run this software again to see whether it is going to create a new folder or not. okay so it's time has changed 2246 now let's go ahead and run this select okay it's running the task and boom not created folder and uh, the data is same as it. so whenever you add a new files here let's say uh, we add a file called uh, text document close this and once we run it once again let's see whether it will add those file into the folder or not okay let's just task select task okay going to take the backup back it let's go back to this dish folder and you can see here this is the text doc hope this video uh, help you to understand the how to take the backup of a cobian reflector and then it will help you to understand the concept of the incremental backup with the proof so if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please put me in the comment box thank you very much for watching